What? Oh my god! Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. So I am playing the Not So Buried Challenge. It's a challenge of The Sims 4 where you have one family, but you play for 10 generations and each generation is themed after a different color. The current generation is gray. We are currently pregnant with the plum generation. I took to Twitch and built a dream gray home that I am honestly obsessed with. I built most of it on Twitch and then I finished the last couple of rooms on my own. So it actually ended up being too big for the lot that we moved in last time. So we're moving in next door, which is essentially next door to our baby daddy's house, which is honestly even more perfect. I'm really excited to have our baby. It feels like so fast, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun having Plum kind of grow up with like a chaotic big household with like a bunch of other Sims and stuff. So the requirement for the challenge is to have three failed relationships. We've already had our first one. We're working on our second. So we just need one more and then I will check out all of your guys' neat sims for who she ends up like marrying and settling down with. But we got time. We don't need to worry about it. Also, happy new year. Happy January. I want to give you guys a little heads up, but for just for the month of January, there will only be once a week uploads of the Not So Berry Challenge. So the Wednesday videos won't be coming up in January. Also, there won't be any vlog videos. I'm taking January as like a personal leave to kind of recuperate, think of new ideas and see family. In February, we will be launching into the new year with some fantastic Wednesday videos and maybe some vlogs as well. Also, my Twitch streams this month will be a little bit sporadic, so make sure to keep an eye out on either Twitter or Instagram and I'll be posting the schedule for that. But without further ado, let's hop in. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Okay, so we're gonna move the household into this lovely gray modern Japanese inspired home. We're gonna keep it furnished. We will still have like a lot of fun. I was thinking we could always like add on, add a basement, things like that to the house. Look at our girl. Ooh, okay. So I haven't had my mod that like shows how attractive Sims find other Sims. But right now she does find Candid Edo as extremely attractive. All right. So welcome to our new home that I built myself for Grey Gen. We got a little koi pond out in the front. It's a one story, which I like. On the side here, we got a basketball court. We even have a little swings for a future kiddo. We got a bunch of like ski stuff and apparel. We got a little rock zen garden. A nice place to you know relax over here. A little back patio. You walk in through an entryway and there's like, as you can see, it's got some stuff. It's got little muddy paw prints because we're probably going to adopt a dog today. We've got like a little entryway table and a half bath. I put lots of clutter everywhere because she is a messy sim. So we've got kind of clutter everywhere, but it is still pretty modern. Here is like all her like cookbooks. This is where the dog food's gonna go. I also have laundry machines. I don't actually like laundry, but someone during stream mentioned that if we have laundry machines, then the laundry is gonna build up around the house and also look really messy. So I was like, okay, well, that'll be fun. And then when she has a neat sim, the neat sim will do the laundry and I won't worry about it. So hopefully that works out. Uh, we got messy stuff over here. I'll pick it up more when we start living with a neat sim, but for now it's gonna be pretty chaotic. We've got some blank walls here for family photos and things like that, a little fireplace with our TV for a family movie night. She's got her own little fitness room. Then there's the kids room for when our purple plum generation's a toddler. So the plum generation's gonna eventually go into the entertainer career. So I'm kind of envisioning this generation to be very flashy, very fun loving, a little chaotic and crazy and colorful. Especially in comparison to Skylar, who's very gray and monotone. So I, I really wanted to play up the, the purple here and I had a lot of fun just making this room super chaotic and messy, but also so cute. I, I grabbed like every single purple thing available and I think it really turned out nice. And here's Skylar's room, a little less messy in the bedroom, which is I guess nice, but the bathroom's very messy as well. Got a little stuff everywhere, a nice little shower and a bathtub for the Todd. And uh, yeah, that's mainly the house. I'm really happy where the houses were right next door to the Ito families right here. But you know, it's got enough of a separation. I forgot that we saved our like gym equipment.
equipment. So I might like upgrade the gym equipment to our old one. We're gonna keep mom's rocket ships even though we don't really want to use them. Oh yeah, we gotta have mom's uh, statue somewhere. Maybe like back here underneath this tree. And then we got, oh, just like a couple things for mom. I wonder if I should put like this solar system thing in the kids room. I think that'd be kind of cute. Maybe we'll keep that in here. I'll delete this and have the solar system one in here instead. So that a little reminder of the former generation. These are all from Skylar, which are cute. We still have them, but I don't know if we need them. What other things should we put out? Okay, we've got some prints. So we wanna put maybe mom and dad out here front and center. That's so sweet. And then maybe mom and, and grandpa. Here's mom and daughter. And then, okay, mom and grandma. And look at all these fun ones. We'll maybe put in these ones here. Maybe this silly funny faced one as well. Oh, there's our signed jersey. Did I put that up anywhere? We'll put it here. Oh, here's um, the little galaxy like show from mom. So we'll put that in here too. And then I want to put maybe some of these photos. Yeah. So we have like all our moms kind of like stuff around there. It's a little more cluttered. We have like mom's random jar slug. I love it. I love the house so much. Let's go in. She's exhausted, but she's a new homeowner. Look at her in this little house house that we built. It's so weird. But she's V pregnant and V on her own. Why don't we like see if we can get a pet? Here's the dogs. Okay. Is there a gray? Oh, there's a gray dog. This gray dog's named Ragtime. That's a cute dog. Ragtime is a adult and is neutered. Nice. We never get neutered dogs. I like Ragtime. Is Ragtime small? Let's see if Ragtime's small. I kind of want a smaller dog because she doesn't have a lot of space. Oh, Ragtime isn't a big dog. Ragtime's perfect. Look at you. It's cute. What's your personality like? Let's do a friendly little introduction to Ragtime. Get off the computer. Skylar, you've got a dog visitor. She's like feeling a little lonely, wants a pet companion. How you doing, Ragtime? Okay, they just become acquaintances. Ragtime's a sleuth. Interesting. A sleuth. Are you lazy? Because I feel like that would be good. Adventurous. Okay. Adventures might be good if we want to go on runs together. And friendly. Oh, what a sweet bubby. Oh, why don't we play with Ragtime and see how we bond? So what kind of dog is Ragtime? I have no idea what kind of dog this is. Like what breed? Let me know if you know. This is such a cute dog though. It's not the dog I think all of us would have chosen necessarily, but it was the only gray dog and it's super cute. I think Ragtime will be perfect for like a family dog. Ragtime give me strong family dog energy and I really feel that so oh she needs to poop really okay oh she keeps farting maybe that's why all right she's gonna have a poop ragtime just came in with us and chilled I feel like ragtime you're one of the family you already came inside with me so you're a part of the family now ragtime okay but we need a different name also last name Barry obviously I don't know ragtime cracks me up maybe it should just be ragtime I kind of think ragtime I would have never gone with that but it reminds me of like old black and white era movies or something so okay I think we're gonna go ragtime for now. Ragtime's a boy. Oh, so sweet. Well, we did have a girl last time, so this is perfect. All right, what's up, Ragtime? Ragtime's like, it's messy. It's messy here. Yes, it is a little cluttered. We've worked in 13 hours. Also, I think this room is big enough that we could have like a couple kids share it. I feel like at least two kids. And then at a certain point, we could add on to the side here like we did last time. Oh, look how pregnant she is. Oh my gosh. Why don't you turn Turn that off. Let's go dribble outside. Oh my gosh, even ragtime came out. Maybe a lecture about waking up though. We don't want you to wake us up that much for ragtime, okay? Oh wait, ragtime, we need to give you a collar. Here's ragtime. What kind of dog are you? A standard schnauzer. So we can give ragtime like a cute little unicorn horn or like a bow. But ragtime, oh my gosh, look at this hat on this dog. It's so funny. Funny, a little sweater to keep ragtime warm. Okay, this comes in gray, very cute. I like this for ragtime. I think this is very sweet. Okay, and for walking, you get like a nice, 
color. Well, that's Ragtime's outfit. Ragtime gets a sweater because it's cold outside. It's winter right now. He needs some warmth to go outside with mom. Oh, I can't believe I'm calling Skylar mom right now. Oh, wait, I didn't put any lot traits. I do need some lot traits here. Okay. Is it great acoustics that we could do? Which is like singing. Hone their skills. Perfect. Study spot. But slight bonus to all skill building. That sounds good. Let's do sunny aspect for now. We can change some when we have our kid. She needs a shower. Luckily, I made her a little shower. Oh my God, look, all her clothes are filthy. Oh my God, how funny is that? Oh no, that's gonna be everywhere. Okay, it's New Year's. New Year, new house. Okay, Ragtime just took himself on a little run around. Good for you, Ragtime. All right, I think you need to go to sleep, sweetie. Where are you going? Oh, she's just chatting with Ragtime. They just became friends. That's very sweet. But we need to go to sleep. I think we have work in five hours, so we definitely Definitely need to sleep. Oh, Ragtime fell asleep. Cuties. Hey, Skylar, it's me, Cannon. Do you wanna go on a date? I mean, can we go on a date later? Let's go on a date tonight after work. I get down at seven. We'll do like a, a nice little New Year's Eve date. Go get some food. The house is so cute. I actually turns out so nice. I'm actually pretty proud. Oh, she's thinking about her mom. I bet she's wondering if her mom would like the new house. Don't worry, I bet Summer would have loved it. Why don't you play with your pup? Oh my gosh, Ragtime is so cute. Good job, Ragtime. Who's a good baby? <laughs> All right, go outside. Why don't go outside and go potty? Well, that's on the porch, so I don't love that. Well, at least you went outside, I guess, even though I still had to clean it up. Good job, ragtime. Okay, go to work. Oh, mascot throwdown. At today's game, the other team's mascot has been taking the standard play fighting between mascots a little too far. Skylar knows that she should just let it slide, but it's becoming increasingly difficult to take abuse from the sim dressed like a surly lemur. Should we punch the lemur or let it go? <laughs> I think normally she would punch the lemur but because she's pregnant right now, she's like, I don't really want an altercation. Skylar decides she might be overreacting while the crowd certainly wants a fight. Skylar won't give it to the pressure. She is a professional after all. Oh, heck yes. Okay, she's very focused. That's it? She was bolstered in performance due to her affinity for activity. She did some great work. That's it? We hardly like did anything. All right, let's ask Ken and Ito on a date. Oh, he wants us to come over to his house and hang out. Okay, so we're gonna go to Cannon's house. I think Cannon actually lives with like some sins that her mom was French. Oh my gosh, girl, get out of your work clothes, please. That was so embarrassing. Yes, uh, Nicolette Sigworth and Kristen Sigworth were friends of her mom. So that's really sweet. Compliment appearance, celebrate the new year. How cute. Oh my gosh, check on Cannon. Apparently it looks upset. We're gonna ask him about pursuing his dream job. Interesting idea, Skylar. I've been pondering what it would give most satisfaction in my work life. I'll let you know what I decide. Oh, very cool. She's trying to inspire him. Maybe flatter him. Practice singing. Yes, she's gonna sing as usual and make a resolution. Let's do raise a skill. She wants to be a better singer, which she's already quite good, but she wants to be even better. They're having such a nice little party. Maybe we should go inside though. Like, come on. Oh my gosh, there's one bed in this house. Why are you all living here? Oh my gosh, I'm freezing. I gotta go inside. I'm freezing. You are in your warm weather clothes. You need to warm up, sweetie. She's warm now. I was like kind of freaking out about that. Look at that. Look at this. Min, Poppy, and then Summer. Now it's Skylar. What other thing? Oh, give Cannon condolences. I can't believe someone in his family has died. That's so sad. I'm sorry about the loss. I will be thinking of you. Oh, and he's hot headed. Oh, that would probably be a good reason for them to break up too, to be honest. Ask to be confidant. Oh, can I be your confidant? Oh, I kind of ship them. This is gonna be hard to let Cannon go. He's such a little bean. Confidants, these thims are, are thick as thieves and they have no secrets with each other. I think they're gonna be friends forever. And it's gonna be like one of those weird things where people are gonna be like, this is weird that they are like this. And you're gonna be like, no, it's not weird. Okay, we gotta watch the countdown. You don't have a TV? Cannon, you don't have a TV? Also, these two are sleeping and Dale Ito and Kristen Sigworth are sleeping in the bed together. I'm assuming they're somehow related. We're gonna travel together. Why don't you come over to my house, which is next door? I'll introduce you to my new dog and we'll watch the countdown. That'll be very sweet. I'm sure my dog will want to be very friendly with you. Invite him to stay the night. Be like, do you want to stay over? 
<laughs> He's like, sure, I would love to. Oh my gosh, here's our papa greeting us at the door. Okay, ragtime, you gotta be friendly to Canon, okay? And now we're gonna watch the New Year's TV. Oh my gosh, I wanna see the dog being nice. So cute, ragtime, that's so sweet. Oh, Canon likes ragtime, yes! What is he doing? Oh, he's. I think he's going to sleep in the bed. He's tired, so we're watching the New Year's TV by ourselves. Really, you're gonna miss the countdown, my dude? Yep, he fell asleep. All right, she's calling it out. Yeah, happy New Year! Aw, at least she's not spending New Year's alone. She's spending it with her boyfriend, although she probably should have invited all, all over her friends. She had like a million friends in high school. She'll have to throw like herself a little like welcome home party and everyone's gonna be like, whoa, you're pregnant? She's gonna be like, yeah. It kind of happened, got it quick. All right, and we're tired. It is midnight or it's like 1 a.m. So let's maybe go to sleep. You know, second night, we're trying to get ragtime comfy. We had some fun. We had martinis with uh, Cannon's roommate slash friends. Cannon's getting up. He's like, help, help, my bladder. Do we have work today? We have work in five hours. Okay, perfect. We're gonna finish up our sleep and maybe have breakfast with our boyfriend. That could be fun. Cook together with Cannon. So here we go, scrambled eggs with bacon. Okay, oh, she's so pregnant. Look how pregnant she looks. She's on her third trimester. Oh my gosh, they're gonna have the baby anytime. I want them to work out. This makes me so sad. She's feeling so inspired. Where'd he go? He's not on the lawn anymore. He literally Literally just disappeared. Cool, buddy. I kind of miss Summer because she kept such a clean house. But we do have a fireplace just like we did when we were at mom's house. She's thinking of Summer as she lights the fireplace. Literally same. I was also thinking of Summer. She's gonna play some basketball before she got work anytime soon. Two hours. Here she is. She's dreaming big. All right, why don't you take some free throws? I didn't know uh, pregnant Sims could still like do a little bit of basketball. That's pretty good. Okay, she's gotta go to work though. Wait, 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 wait. She said excellent. I wanna be an athlete. I wanna be dance team captain. I don't, yes! We're definitely getting our promotion today. Ooh, and the snow thawed. Yes, promotion to dance team captain. Should all make an additional 11 civilians per hour for a grand total of 39. Simulants per hour. We're at level four of her career. She's also received the falling bonus and some new clothes. Oh, well, great. I'm so happy for you, girl. We still need to work out quite a bit more. So I wonder if you could shoot around. There she goes. Oh, she's gone into labor. Oh my gosh, she just changed and then she immediately went to labor. Oh my gosh, okay. We'll go have the baby at the hospital. Yeah, we're gonna join her and we're going to bring along. Can we not bring along our boyfriend? He's busy. He can't come with us to have the baby. Dude, you gotta take a day off work. I'm pregnant. Well, we're here. We're gonna check in at the front desk. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we're having the purple gen right now, plum gen. You know, I think she wants to have kids early so that she's around for her grandkids. She's gonna be around for her grandkids anyway though because she's going to have like a really long life from being a bodybuilder, but. Canon's calling. This is a new update with the story progressions of The Sims. And oh my gosh, so Ken and Ito, our boyfriend, just called us and he's saying, so I found a ring in Skylar's bag, which is our bag, but whatever. I think she's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, no. So he's asking Skylar and I feel like Skylar, maybe she does have a ring in her bag, but he's having second thoughts. So she's like, mm. Part of me wants to say don't do it, but I don't think Skylar would say that. I'm trying to say that to cause drama. However, I think Skylar would say you should really decide for yourself. Yeah, I don't think we can in good conscience say yes because they're not allowed to get married. I mean, I guess they could get engaged and have that fall through, but I don't know, I want them to stay friends. So I'm gonna say you should decide for yourself. Do what I want? I don't know what I want. I wanted you to decide for me. It's obvious I can't count on you for huge and impactful life decisions that don't really concern you. Thanks for nothing, Skylar Barry. <laughs> Skylar just got engaged to Cannon. What? Are we engaged? They're engaged. Oh my God. Oh, Cannon. How am I gonna break up with you? They're engaged. I can't believe it. How am I gonna break them up? I literally don't know how to break them up now at this point. Finally, we have a human doctor instead of a ghost, so that's kind of nice. Okay, it's a girl. <gasps> it's a girl. Okay, 
I love that I act surprised even though every generation's like a girl. What should we name Plum Jen? Okay, we're looking up some purple themed girl names. I think I might go with Amethyst. Just feels right. I don't know what it is. Yeah, Amethyst. Okay, her name's gonna be Amethyst. If you hate it, we will do that same trick that I said last time where the middle name will end up being what she goes by when she's older. But I like Amethyst. I also think that maybe Skylar had, you know, a couple of shots of that pain medicine and she's alone to name the baby by herself. So she just made me a little rogue and was like, Amethyst, that sounds cool. And like something that, you know, Minth and Summer would have been into. Oh my gosh, we've got a baby. Amethyst Berry. Oh my gosh. And Skylar looks like the buffest youngest baby mom. Like, yeah, she's very young as a young adult. This is probably the youngest I think I might have had a baby in The Sims. But I did really want our mom to know Amethyst, so. All right, let's see where Amethyst got placed in the house. Amethyst. Okay, Amethyst is in the mom's room. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that's a pretty common thing, but I want to put Amethyst maybe in the baby room. I'll put this in the inventory for now. We'll put Amethyst here. All right, let's go change dirty diaper. Oh my gosh, we have a baby. We have a full on baby. I mean, we'll probably have more kids, but oh my gosh. Oh, parenting. She does need to master parenting. Oh my gosh, is he here? <gasps> He's meeting his baby. Why is he thinking about drugs? Dude, are you okay? She's playing basketball. The baby is crying. The father of the baby is home, but he is not taking care of the baby. Maybe this is why they break up. It's like he wants to make it work, but he's just so not in the right place. He's still like a young guy and he just doesn't know the first thing about taking care of this kid and like doesn't really try to learn. That makes a lot of sense. I cannot believe they are engaged. And then the game just did that to me. Oh my gosh. Look, she's feeling so flirty because they're engaged and they just had a baby. Let's shoot around. Actually, you know what? We'll work out like proper workout. We got to work on a new skill. So might as well do this fitness skill. Oh, he's going to talk to us while we're working out. Enthuse about fitness. They're flirting and stuff. They're so cute. Look at the time. I got to go now. See you later. Okay. All right. We're going to push the limits. While we listen to our nice little tunes in the workout gym. This is great. I love her little home gym. You're so close to finishing the skill. Yes. Okay. Her resolution is complete and she reached fitness level nine. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, and she reached the Sims maximum body potential. Girl, look how ripped she is. She's nailed it. She only needs one more and then we'll finish the bodybuilder aspiration. Oh my gosh. There's just stuff everywhere in this house. I tell you, it's so chaotic. Everything's seems to be going pretty well though. And the baby's upset. Let's go change the baby's diaper and then we will go to sleep ourselves, I guess. Or well, we'll maybe take a shower really quick and go to sleep. Even ragtime's like a new baby. Oh my gosh, there's so much clothes here. Like girl, you need to put your clothes away. You gotta do your laundry sometime. <laughs> All right, go to sleep. She can't get out of the shower because there's too much crap on the floor. Oh my gosh. She even has like a laundry bin here and she just doesn't use it. <laughs> oh, baby's up. Baby is up and upset. You gotta wake up. That's motherhood. Jesse and Peter Shea said, congratulations on the new additions for the family. <sighs> All right, we got bills. Can you pay our bills? Get the mail and pay the bills. All right, go to sleep. Oh, your baby's upset again. It's okay. We got to take care of the baby. We need this skill. Talk, rock, make silly faces. She loves baby. She's like going to be such a good mom. You're going to have a big family. You know, your whole life, I will always be there for you. They just became good friends. That's so sweet. Nope, baby's upset again. What happened? Dirty diaper now. Go, mom, go. We put mom's statues out there so you can see it from her bedroom window. That's really cute. I didn't notice that you could see it from the bedroom window. Oh, we got work in 24 hours. Okay, so we can really focus on being a mom and I think I want to finish the bodybuilder aspiration. Just get that out of the way. I've been pondering your advice, Skylar, and you're right. I should be doing what makes me so happy. So it's good careers. <laughs> How am I gonna break them up? He was like, yeah, I do want to do my dream. Oh, he's a secret agent. Agency clerk at SIMS. That's probably why they got to break up. Perfect. We found it. We finally found it. The reason they have to break up is because he can't have a family and be a CIA agent. And that's been his dream his whole life. Oh my God. What a tragic story that they truly love each other and would be married, but they can't because of his work. Wait, that's really sad. We're gonna have some leftovers. She's eaten here because there's no spots at her table. Oh 
Oh my gosh. The plates everywhere. She's so messy. Go hang out with baby, be mom. We're gonna just do every interaction we can with the baby. She's reached parenting level three already. Heck yeah. It's almost Amethyst's birthday. That was fast. Let me see. Nope, they're in a normal lifespan. This feels so fast. I don't have anything else to do. Let's go on a little walk together. She wanted to walk the dog anyway. The baby's asleep. She probably has like the camera where you can like watch the baby. There we go. So cute. Look at them walking through. This gorgeous scenery. Like this is a very beautiful neighborhood too. I love Mount Komorebi. I haven't lived here with like any of my Sims a lot. So this has been so fun. Next gen though, I definitely think we'll end up in the LA world. Oh no, we need to go home. Our baby's crying. All right, let's go take care of our baby. Yes, good job, Amethyst. Is tomorrow Amethyst's birthday? No, it's today. Oh, heck yeah. We're gonna have all of our friends over for Amethyst's birthday. That's perfect. Oh my God, the dog just went under the bed. That was so cute. She complaining about all the garbage on the floor? That's your stuff. That is literally your fault. And she's thinking about summer. She's like, man, my mom always cleaned up after me. I have no idea how to do it on my own. All right, we're gonna work out. Listen to the tunes. Okay, girl, unfortunately, you're gonna have to cut your workout short because the baby is crying. Ragtime's like, I like this song. <laughs> okay, hopefully we'll be a level four very soon. All right, we're filling the dog's bowl. There you go, ragtime. Go back to our run. So we did a little workout, which was perfect. We do need to work on our singing though. Maybe it's worth taking our, well, she just had a baby. I was gonna be like, we should go out and go karaokeing. Well, we probably shouldn't because we need to stick around the baby and take care of the baby so we can up our parenting skill. I love that she can't find anywhere to put these plates anymore because she just does not clean them up. I want her to sing to the baby. Can we stand in the baby's room and sing where the baby is? Let's practice singing. She's singing for the baby. She's like, oh my gosh, she's extroverted. So she loves being the center of the tension. She's definitely a very extroverted sim. Oh, someone's here. Oh, it's Cannon. Invite him in. Hey, Cannon. Okay, the baby's upset. Are you gonna do anything helpful for the baby? Nope. All right, get out of the way. Get out of the way, Cannon. I need to feed the baby. He's like, something stinks. I'm like, excuse you, sir. It is me. I haven't had a lot of time to take showers. Oh, parenting level four, heck yes. Okay, we are crushing this. We're just gonna keep cuddling, spending all this time with baby. Oh my gosh, he wants to go on a date. We are busy, can't you see? We're taking care of our baby. We don't have time for dates, Cannon. And we have work in an hour. Go take a shower. Are you taking care of the baby or are you not? You need to change the diaper. It's not hard, buddy. It's not hard. Oh God, she's gotta go to work. All right, well, the baby crying will have to be at the daycare. The daycare will take care of that. Or Cannon will, I guess. He's doing a whole lot of nothing. Can't you tell the baby? needs to be changed. Oh my gosh, Cannon, you're a wreck. Oh, and he and the baby like had less uh, friendship. Oh my gosh. Utterly disrespectful. Skylar may simply be cheering on the team from the sidelines, but she takes the role of defending her team's honor very seriously. And would you believe it? The visiting team's cow mascot is dancing right in the center of the field, tugging on its udders in a show of disrespect. The only thing stopping Skylar from rushing the field and starting a fight is knowing that the stands are packed with innocent children who are just there to enjoy the game. Will Skylar set an example or set this right example? She will ignore the mascot's taunt. She does not want to be fired from her job. Also, I don't think it matters that much to her. She's like, whatever. I'll just talk to someone at the office, make sure that they're reprimanded because there's kids in the audience. We're gonna ignore the taunts. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jesse got the job. They said, remember that job we talked about? I got it. I'm proud of them. Oh, they're a dishwasher. Okay. Does does that mean they're like going into a culinary? Yeah, they're going to the culinary field. That's awesome for them. That makes me very happy. Oh my gosh, please get a promotion. We did not. We did not. It's Amethyst's birthday and we only made 200 simoleons and we're exhausted. Dang it. I was like, we need to have a party for Amethyst's birthday. All right, we'll get Nicole Berry, Maria, Tracy, and Mariah, I think was like a random friend of ours. It looks like some of our friends are busy, but we're inviting them all over and then we're gonna go to sleep. Hopefully. Some of them will take care of my kid. It's like kind of a birthday party, welcoming party. Oh my gosh, Nicole Berry got really cute. We gotta check on Nicole. All right, they're all welcoming themselves into the house. Oh, and Cannon's here. Wake up and go go say hi to everybody. All right, she invited Cannon to sleep over, so he's gonna spend the night with them. It's kind of like the baby's birthday. She's kind of invited all these friendly people here to get to know everybody. Let's announce her engagement because apparently Cannon and I got engaged. Like everyone is 
checking out the baby, but no one is taking care of the baby who is crying. Wow, we really do look like our mother when she was getting married. Jesse, what are you doing here? We did not invite you over. I feel like Jesse must be going through a rough time because Jesse's invited themselves over. Oh my gosh, and I passed out. Hey, but Nicole Barry is cleaning up for me. Thanks, Nicole. Did anyone ever change my baby's diaper? No. Oh my gosh. What a mess. At least all my friends are over. My fiance is sleeping and not helping the baby whatsoever. I do want some popcorn though. That does sound really good. But we need to change our baby. And maybe let's age our baby up. Happy birthday, Amethyst. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what Amethyst looks like. When Plum Generation, their traits are gonna be genius, non-committal, and dance machine. So I think maybe they'll be like a genius baby as well. So maybe, let's make our baby wild. That'll be fun. Oh my gosh, a little Amethyst. Oh, maybe she'll be like a professional dancer. Maybe that's more of the vibe than like a musician. Amethyst has mom's hair, but soon will not. Okay, okay, I realize I need some CC hairs because I don't have like any plum hairs at all. I will have to find some plum purple hairs for adults that are Maxis match. Okay, let's go in and give our baby our family eyes, but in a plum. Like we look a lot like mom. We definitely have mom's skin tone and then hair. There's no purple hair for little kids. Okay, and also we have curly hair, it looks like, which is very sweet. I mean, maybe we just keep this. What about eyebrows? Can we do the eyebrows at least in a plum? We can. Oh, these are so pretty. Part of me wants to go find some CC hair now, but I'm going to finish getting baby already. Okay, let's get some skin details. Maybe this one, and then we'll get like a little long lashes here. Some boo-boo blush, and then we'll do, we have to do some purple outfits. Yeah, this definitely gives me the right energy for Amethyst. Oh my gosh, so cute. We definitely need a cold weather look for Amethyst as well. Oh, I just want something like more cozy for Amethyst since we're like in the thick of it weather wise, you know? So we want something kind of warmer for our Todd. Okay, great. So we have like two outfits here. Our little formal outfit we'll do. Oh, I love this. This is cute and we haven't used it yet. All right, well, cool. We'll do that. Nighttime outfit, sleepy time. I like this one. We don't need sunglasses for bedtime though, Amethyst. This looks good for a party, party dress. Awesome. And then swimwear, we'll do, oh my gosh, cute little, little two piece. Hot weather, I did like this for hot weather. I think that's nice. And for cold weather, we'll do maybe this one. And then we need like a little cold weather hat or something. Oh, that's sweet. This is a very sweet look. Okay, so I jumped off for a hot second and came back and I have some purple options. I didn't find anything quite as curly, but we did just have a curly haired character. Her hair might get more curly as she gets older and I have more options. So let's see. Okay, something bad has happened, but these are the hairs. I don't think I downloaded all the right things. I don't know what happened. Okay, this one works. The other ones, it seems like I'm missing some stuff, but at least this one works so I can get her into some hair. Wait, this one too. Okay, this one works. Look at that hair. Oh my gosh, I love the deep purple on her. Oh my gosh, look at Plum Jen. Oh wow, she looks gorgeous. I love this. I also like the other longer one. So maybe we'll do the long one. Oh wow, she's a cutie. Okay, perfect. She's perfect. I will have to download the rest of those hairs, but at least we had a couple of them. And I will of course be uploading my custom content master list on my Patreon. So go check that out. It's free to look at if you're interested. Oh my gosh, Amethyst is so cute. Oh my gosh, how sweet is our, our young baby angel daughter. Oh my gosh. Like what? I can't believe we already have a toddler and she's literally perfect. Skylar's so dead exhausted though. So I think she's gonna go to sleep. Oh, Amethyst should play with the puppy. How flippin' cute is this? And look who it is. It's mom's friend, Tracy Huntington the 
third, you could also talk to Tracy. Although Tracy's just reading a book, apparently. Everyone's hanging out. Oh, it looks like Cannon's actually being of use and cleaning up around the house. Thanks, Cannon. Well, poor Skylar is knocked out, just dead to the world. Amethyst, why don't you go talk to your dad once he's done cleaning up? She just became friends with Ragtime. Amethyst and Ragtime are gonna be besties. I can just tell. Go spend time with dad. I'm obsessed with her purple hair and her purple outfit and her purple eyes and her purple eye brows. Look at them. He's so cute. Wow. I can't get enough of this child. I'm obsessed. I can't wait until Skylar has more kids too. I cannot wait for the rest of the kids. She's like, dad, I want to snuggle. Give me cuddles, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This is so hard breaking up Cannon and Skylar because I do really think I, maybe he dies. Maybe they you know, he's a CIA agent and she convinced him. <gasps> That'd be even more tragic than him being like, I can't do it to protect you. I like that I can't do it to protect you. Cause that way he can still be in their life, but he's gonna keep his distance a little bit. Actually, she looks a little more like dad than I think I gave her credit for. All right, why don't you go to sleep, sweetie? I know you're not really tired, but it is 4 a.m. Puppy needs to go outside. All right, let's ask the dog to go potty. Oh look, our fiance's still here. All right, well, we're going to bed. I I think I'm gonna leave this one right here. Next episode, I think we're gonna finish our aspiration. Hopefully we also finish our two skills of fitness and singing. So we'll just be focusing on motherhood from here on out and our career. I hope that you love the name Amethyst. Let me know your opinions in the comments below. And let me know, although I'm quite a bit of a head the game, so I might not actually be able to see how you feel about Cannon's exit from her life. I do, I am curious if you guys are into the whole, I'm a secret agent now and I can't have family kind of vibe. I think that would be kind of fun. So let me know if you like that. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon.